Hey Geminis and welcome to your reading um, of who is coming in love for you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we will see what you guys have in store for love coming in for you. All right, oops. Let's get started. Where are Geminis at currently in love? All right, your first card out is the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is all about, um, you know, when a situation is suspended or blocked by doubt, um, the need to resolve it um, has to happen because it cannot go on any further. Whether you're currently with somebody and there's some doubt or hesitation there, it needs resolved if you want this relationship to go the next step. If you're single and still... Um, you know, doubting, uh, doubting a situation or holding on to somebody of the past, it needs to be let go of or nothing can come in for you. Where this is headed is the Ace of Pentacles. So there's that next step. Once you release, once you clear up any doubt, um, that Ace of Pentacles will come in for you. The, um, a complete and gratifying relationship that will really unite your mind, body, and soul. It's a uh, love that is really rooted in um, intimacy that the two of you will share. And who is coming in for you? Who's coming in for Gemini? The Six of Pentacles. So this is all about, you know, boredom. You know, you're thinking about people of the past. You're wondering who's coming in in the future, but you need to remember to um, live for today and not neglect the people who are in your life who truly love you now. The potential for a relationship is the Nine of Cups. Nice. So this is that euphoria feeling. The light of the lantern really um, ensures the success of love. It overwhelms the senses and it really, you know, gets rid of the hesitations or anyone that's trying to stand in the way of you two being together. In Spirit's Advice, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is all about desire. The vanity is the soul of love. You must love yourself to let yourself be loved. And that is so important. You must love yourself before you can love another. And that is Spirit's Advice. In what you don't know about what's coming in for you. What don't Gemini know? All right, the Knave of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles here. You could be having an Earth sign coming in for you. It doesn't have to be. But the Knave is all about being aroused. It's, you know, the transgression that leads to excitement. But neither one or the other can really last without some moderation. So um, that's something you must know about this connection. The potential outcome of this person coming in for you is the four of swords so um this is all about the excitement that allows you to overcome lack of affection um you should this should continue you um in order for this to continue you have to forgive yourself for anything in the past or any of your errors that you have um felt you have done in love your bottom of the deck is the lovers. It is clarified by the tower and the emperor. Wow, some big cards at the bottom of your deck. Those are all your, that's the only major arcana you have is that the shared energy of this. You do have the four of cups and the hair fit right under that though. So um, this does have the potential for a long-term commitment. So let's see what this is all about. Your current energy. Why is the nine of wands here for Gemini's current energy? You have the queen of rods. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, that you're currently in a relationship with. Um, the queen of rods is all about that honorable woman. Um, it could be a man because this is a general reading, but they're loving, they're loyal, and they're spiritually inclined. So in order for this to move forward, you have to um, remove any doubts you have about this person. If you doubt if they are here for the right reasons, you could have just recently met this person and you're not sure that you're doubting the reason why they're there. You're doubting that they're going to be faithful because they could be very attractive. 
they could um, date a lot of people. Um, so you're doubting that they're going to be able to settle down and give you what you want. You must remove those doubts um, and resolve it or you're, this can't go on any further. Um, and just know that they are honorable. They're loving. They're loyal. And um, this is a very spiritual connection for you. And where this is headed with the Ace of Pentacles, um, that uniting of mind, body, and spirit. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here in there where this is headed? Why is the nine, Ace of Pentacles here? Ooh. Okay. So you have the Eight of Cups and the Tower. So this, um, in a flash, the road that you've been traveling becomes... Um, a sudden halt, a sudden change, a disruption, uh, and you could decide to retreat and retreat from any emotional involvement that you have with this person. Um, and this is halting because you have those doubts. Those doubts must be removed before you can get that ace, before you can get that gratifying um, relationship. Um, but you're having a lot of doubts. Um, in who's coming in towards you with that six of pentacles. Um, thinking about the past, worrying about the future. Why is that here? The empress. So this could be stemmed from a relationship that you have with your mother or the mother of your children. It could have not worked out in the past. And you're worried that this relationship is going to end in that way. Um, but you truly have the... Um, you truly have the opportunity, um, Gemini, to to really create the relationship and the life that you want with this with this person. This person um, is coming in at a very high vibration. This could be you as well. You could want to create something, but you're worried. Those doubts and fears have to be removed. Um, some of you are walking away from the mother of your children, and when you do, or you are the mother and you're walking away from the father of your children. When you walk away from that, that's when this new person is coming in. Um, I'm seeing it both ways. So uh, the potential for a relationship is that Nine of Cups. So there is that um, triumph in love. Uh, but you have to remove all that inner doubt. You have to remove um, that struggle for... Um, that struggle for that peace of mind. You're worrying too much. You're thinking way too much into this. Um, because there is a very spiritual connection coming in for you. This is the seed of inspiration creation. Um, when you put that um, inner doubt away, when you remove all the outside competition, the five plus the one equals six of wands, which is success. And this it ensures triumph over love. It overwhelms the senses and it dispels the rivals and the hesitations and the inner doubt and brings you to success. So allow that um, spark to ignite um, because it is here for you. Once again, Spirit's advice is to love yourself first. Let's see why the Ten of Pentacles is here for your, um, for your advice. Why is the Ten of Pentacles? Thank you. All right. Yeah. So when you love yourself first, when you lo are able to love um, yourself in a way that you allow yourself to be loved, you will find that inner balance. You will find that inner peace. You will balance out that light and dark and in turn be able to give the love that you are wanting to receive and it'll come in in a big way, um, giving you that happy, healthy relationship and that spouse that you are desiring for some of you. Um, this has the potential to be the relationship that you're hoping and wanting it to be. Um, in what you don't know with the Knave of Pentacles, this is um, transgression leading to excitement. Um, you have to moderate it though. You can't go, you know, all gung-ho and it only be sexual. It has, you have to moderate that. Um, this has the potential to warm and be sincere with a relationship. It's liberation from limitation. It's growth. It's expansion. Um, but you have to do it in moderation. The universe is here to guide you. It is leading you down this path to this person. Um, why is the potential outcome of Four of Swords? The 
the Four of Cups. So with the Four of Cups clarifying that, this is despondent or forlorn, one hesitating. Um, seek spiritual resolve um, for this inaction because you are beating yourself up over the past. You have to release the past and not be so hard on yourself. You do deserve this love. This love is here for you. It is here for the right reasons. So you have to let go of that hesitancy um, and know that this is a new relationship for you that's meant to be. Um, with the lover's card, this is seduction. It is, um, you know, somebody seducing and uh, you need to make the important choices that you're being guided to take. You know the truth. You know what what you want in a relationship. You need to pick the relationship that is truly going to be on the path that you feel it's meant to be. Uh, with the tower, this is all about a dangerous situation, betrayal, deception, or imminent breakup. Protect yourself from this threat by using your own resources. And once again, it's clarified with the devil. So this is somebody's most destructive qualities. Um, unleashing. It is great caution. Awareness uh, is necessary. So make sure you are moving in the direction of your truth. If you are not, you're going to fall into a relationship that is not going to fair in a in a good way the emperor here is the you're exercising your power that's entrusted to you um to know what it is that you want if you don't exercise your power if you don't stand up for what you want in a connection then it's going to lead to heartbreak um but all you have to do is choose the lover that or choose the person that you feel um is meant for a try like this has the potential to be triumphant great power of love great force this is a power couple this is somebody who is divine somebody who is sent to you destined for you but you could find yourself in a third party um so you need to leave whatever situation is not good for you in order to receive this because it is not going to turn out well if you have a third party situation, you must believe, you must rid yourself of the doubts of somebody who's there for the right reasons. And you need to walk away from somebody who um, you feel is not. You have the tower here twice. You need to walk away on your own recontinence, on your own choice, your own decision, or it's going to end for you. And you're going to lose that person that was here for the right reasons as well. So get yourself out of that third party situation. You can successfully move forward away from this love yourself first so you can receive that emotional fulfillment um yeah because there is the potential for a third party here do not have a third party or it's not going to fare out well for you gemini all right guys i hope you enjoyed your reading i hope that was advice that you will take to the bank make sure you are ending and getting rid of all uh all competition before you make this choice but most importantly choose the choice that is best for you it may hurt somebody yes but in the end if you don't make the choice that's best for you you will be the one that's hurt so um have the courage to move forward you do have somebody new here for you um so do things in the right way gemini all right guys i hope you have a beautiful month god bless